in my previous video you have seen that I was using this Raspberry Pi as an onboard companion computer but in this video I'll be using this Raspberry Pi as a ground unit or the ground model and send custom Mavlink or the drone kit messages over this telemetry model to this drone. Both these setups have some uh, limitations or uh, pros and cons depending on the use case that we are working on. If I'll be using with uh, or I'll be going with this onboard uh, computer then I can connect a Raspberry Pi camera and do some or perform some computer vision uh, task. And if I want uh, beyond visual line of sight kind of operations, I can just add internet hat to this Raspberry Pi uh, module and access this drone remotely. And uh, if there are some constraints that regarding uh, space and the power, then this setup won't be a very good idea to go ahead with. In that case, we can go ahead with uh, this setup where I'll be sending these uh, messages from the ground. And uh, there are some uh, radios that I have tested like uh, RFD900 or P900 which works very well over long uh, ranges although you can enhance the operational ranges uh, from 5 to 10 to up to 20 kilometers depending on the output power that we set and I recommend you to use uh, external power supply to this uh, telemetry modules because Raspberry Pi is not uh, that much capable of uh, sending the amps like it is just limited with the one amp of current so you need to add external power supply and to go ahead with this setup what we need is like a raspberry pi with the telemetry and a drone which will have a telemetry which is connected to the pixel autopilot and here i am running autopilot firmware on this drone and uh, moving ahead with the software side what we need is here i have this raspberry pi 4b module and it is running latest Raspbian OS that is Bookworm and it, it comes with the Python 3.11 and then install drone kit packages and we'll write a simple Python script where uh, we'll be able to access this autopilot and get or we'll be able to communicate with this autopilot so basically that will be the bench testing I'll connect uh, Raspberry Pi and this autopilot or the USB and we'll run this Python script and get some data and even uh, command some more changes uh, to the autopilot and see see the things and once we do that we'll go on with this telemetry module and we'll do the outdoor test with the one of the application using the Orco markers. What's going on everyone? If you're liking this video and you want to see more stuff like this hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and if you want to do cool projects like what Pankaj is doing in this video you're going to want to check something out. Look at our Blue Belt membership where you get access to 16 projects and counting including drone light shows, how to build a Raspberry Pi drone, drone programming, drone delivery, bunch of cool stuff in there. If you want to get to the level that Pankaj is at and doing cool stuff, you're going to want to check out Blue Belt membership. And don't forget to check out our PyHawk drone kits if you want to build a Raspberry Pi drone that comes with a five hour step-by-step -step video guide to get you up to speed so you can bring your idea into the world. We got the stuff for you. Check out the PyHawk drone kit. Let's get back into the video. To move ahead, we need to install Raspbian OS to our SD card and then boot it up on our Raspberry Pi board. And you can install any operating system. I have tried with Ubuntu and even with different uh, uh, companion computers like uh, uh, Jetson or the Beagle Bones. So it completely depends on uh, what use case or what application you are going to build. And for this video, I am having Raspberry Pi 4B model and then operating system here. Initially, I have tried with Bookworm, which comes with Python 3.11, but a few things didn't work well for me. So I got or the setup got messed up with the computer vision and the drone kit packages. So then I have down downgraded Python 3.11 to Python 3.6. And the setup worked pretty well with this bookworm uh, release of this Raspberry Pi. And then even also I have tried with uh, uh, this Bullseye version which comes with Python 3.9. And for this video I am going to use this Bullseye version. And uh, here I will just select this SD card. Then next. And here I will just set up the password. So this will be the default password. That is Raspberry. And this is the... Uh, password for your local network so where your Raspberry Pi will get connected so basically if you have some hotspot or a Wi-Fi then you can just uh, add this over here and then in the services uh, yeah so don't forget to enable SSH because you're going to access this over Wi-Fi using SSH and then uh, options and then save 
and once you are done it will start uh, writing this operating system on to your SD card and then we'll just power up our Raspberry Pi with this SD card and get into that. In order to access the Raspberry Pi what I'll do is I'll just open up the terminal and then SSH into Raspberry Pi that is pi at the rate raspberry pi dot local as my uh, Raspberry Pi and this computer are connected to the same local network you can even connect it to the uh, router or the hotspot and the password is raspberry and now we are into the raspberry pi so already i made the setups and this is not my first boot so uh, what uh, we are going to do now is install all the python dependencies that we are going to require and as the main goal of this pro uh, video or this project is to send uh, drone kit messages from the uh, ground station or from the raspberry pi over the telemetry module wirelessly to the drone which is connected to the autopilot so we'll have a telemetry at both the ends and the second goal is to send telemetry or the, what we can say the drone kit messages to multiple drones from the single raspberry pi we'll see this hardware setup uh, once we finish this installation to move ahead with the uh, packages here i had created this python installation for version 3.6 but now we are not going to use this as uh, python 3. Point works pretty well with the bullseye i had issues with the bookworm so we will just directly skip to this part so here we have this uh, map proxy installation and the drone kit installation so i have these things already installed on my setup and uh, you need to just copy these commands and paste it into a terminal so here I, I have already installed everything and it works pretty good so I am just uh, demonstrating uh, like uh, how, how it will be so once you are uh, done with this thing we will move ahead with the python code and the hardware setup test.py this is our first python script that we are going to execute here i have uh, uh, imported a connect and vehicle mode from drone kit package and then imported time because we are going to update the messages every one second and here i have this function which represents the vehicle state and these are the parameters that we are going to request and print and uh, this is the connection part where uh, slash tv slash tty uh, usb0 will be uh, assigned to the telemetry module that we are connecting if we have two three telemetry modules then it will change accordingly usb 0 1 2 3 and here we have uh, uh, sent a command to change the vehicle mode so we are just changing the vehicle mode to stabilize every one second and we'll just give some uh, transmitter inputs we'll change the mode to alt hold or different mode and here we can see again this code will change that vehicle mode to stabilize and uh, the main code is here so here it is called uh, and after every one second it is updated okay so uh, this is just a very a basic code which will just help us to see whether our connection is working fine or no and now let's test this so here i have this telemetry and i'll just connect it to the uh, my computer Right now I am not using Raspberry Pi so this is just a bench setup so I can send commands from my computer or the Raspberry Pi both the things are same I am just using Raspberry Pi just to make the system more portable so right now I will just uh, use my computer and what I will do is like first I will open terminal and then we will just check uh, the USB port so we don't have any USB ports uh, uh, showing to this USB okay so now i've connected the usb and here we can find that it is assigned to this tty usb 0 and same thing is uh, defined over here okay so if you're having multiple usbs then you need to define accordingly and here i have written this uh, mode change command out outside the while loop so the mode change command will only uh, happen once uh, and if I toggle it using my transmitter so the code won't change it so just to show uh, how, how it uh, changes I have added it outside the loop otherwise we won't be able to see the change if we if this uh, command is inside the loop okay so now I'll just execute this Python script
okay so the mode has been changed so now what I'll do I'll just toggle this okay and now uh, here you can see that the mode has been changed to loiter okay but it won't change the mode back to stabilize because uh, that part of code is just executed once okay so now uh, this setup uh, is like I'm just using this laptop and sending the uh, uh, commands over this telemetry to this drone so in the fields we'll be using Raspberry Pi instead of this laptop and now what what we'll do is uh, for the second script we'll use this uh, autopilot and the code and we'll do the same thing and just see the results here I have connected uh, both the uh, modules like uh, first is I have connected the autopilot with USB and the telemetry module which is already connected and this is the code number two that we are going to test and uh, most of the part is pretty same uh, the only thing here that is I have added two connection uh, strings over here and this part is where I have uh, declared the attributes and the rest of the part is pretty same so what we'll do we'll just execute this code and one more impo important thing is like i have connected it with our usb so uh, the connection port is not tty usb 0 here it is tty acm 0 or ac1 that you need to check uh, while you connect okay so we can check that uh, over here so here that is tty acm1 and TTY USB 0 okay so I'll just execute the Python script number 2 and here uh, you can see that uh, telemetry 2 port and telemetry 1 so both are the different things so what I'll do I'll just uh, change the heading so you can see that telemetry 2 the heading is being changed okay so it is reducing okay and I'll just change the mode of this telemetry 2 or oh, sorry a uh, telemetry 1 and you can see the mode is being changed so in this way uh, we can create a setup and control multiple drones before going for the actual flight testing uh, we'll do some simulation so the uh, application that we are going to test is like we'll have uh, different orco markers with uh, the index IDs and we'll just show it to the camera connected to the Raspberry Pi and that uh, that will trigger the code uh, for, and send the navigation commands to the drone and we'll do the simulation for the same and if you want to set up this gazebo and autopilot SITL um, setup then you can just my previous video where you'll find step by step guide to this and this is the code uh, that we are going to test so basically what it does is like it takes this different orco markers with uh, with this different index IDs basically for takeoff 7 then for RTL it is 53 then 10 and 9 for forward backward and so on and it will uh, show the camera feed like uh, which marker is being detected so if you are uh, using it in the headless mode you won't need this to show the uh, camera window and then here all this uh, set velocity north that is minus 1 and all these velocity commands are being passed over here so uh, this one and minus one uh, these are the velocities in that particular direction and with this code like if it is we are commanding it to go left and the drone is facing towards no north then it will just align its heading to the uh, left side and just move in that direction so we'll check this during the simulation so now i'll just execute the code Okay, so here we have this OpenCV window. I'll just resize it so that we can get a clear view. Okay, so uh, here I have uh, different markers. So right now, I'm I'm showing it uh, the marker number 19, 19. But it is, but uh, the copter won't do anything unless and until it takes off. So first we'll run this takeoff command. Okay, so it has detected takeoff and it has initiated. 
so it will go to a certain height and wait for the uh, marker to be detected okay so it has reached the target height and then we'll show this marker number 19 so that is move left Okay, here the speed is just 1 meter per second, you can uh, change it according to your requirements. So it is uh, aligning uh, the heading uh, in the direction of navigation. So now this is marker number 10. Okay, I'll just bring it back now. So this is marker number uh, 9 and you can see that it is uh, moving back. So it is again aligning the heading. You can just uh, uh, change the parameter uh, and that is related to absolute and relative uh, heading, your heading and you can just stop this alignment. Okay, so now here we have the last marker, so that is for RTL, so Okay, so when the RTL is triggered, the code uh, uh, It stops the execution like uh, it will come out of the loop And here you can see that it is like uh, moving towards the RTL location We are in the field and we are going to do the flight testing of the uh, basic example. So I'll be using the Orco marker and uh, controlling this drone. So basically it will be left, right, front, back, take off and land commands. So this is a very basic example. You can use this setup according to your requirements. Okay, so this is the drone that I'm going to use for the testing. And here I have this uh, complete setup. Okay, so here I have this laptop uh, as uh, like basically just to trigger this uh, Python script on this uh, Raspberry Pi and here I have this uh, Raspberry Pi camera connected to this Raspberry Pi and this uh, uh, 915 megahertz telemetry module. If you don't want to use this Raspberry Pi and the camera setup, you can just directly connect this tel telemetry module to the laptop and start your Python script uh, on the laptop itself and send the drone kit messages to the drone. But if you want to make this system more portable, you can just connect this Raspberry Pi setup to some server. Basically, that will be one of uh, IoT based kind of application. So now uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, I'll be just uh, using this Orco markers. So uh, basically, these are the 4x4 matrix of Orco markers with the IDs range from uh, 0 to 100. And these are basically take off, land, left, right, front, back. So I'll just show this to the uh, camera uh, over here and we'll be able to just, just see the moment or the behavior of the drone. I have already tested this in simulation and it works pretty well. So this example is basically not uh, uh, to run over this uh, ground control station. It's basically on the onboard computing but just to demonstrate uh, how this uh, system works. I'm just using this application or this uh, Orco markers for the testing. So let's get started. So I am using this lithium ion polymer battery set for the flight testing.
Uh, yeah, I'll just press the safety switch so that we can start with the process. So now I'll just uh, do some fun climb. Yeah. So that's all uh, in this video.